ऑल राइट सो हेलो गाइज एंड अगेन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर लव एंड सपोर्ट टू माई चैनल एंड अ वेरी स्पेशल थैंक्स टू दोज गाइज हु हैव सपोर्टेड मी ऑन कॉफ़ी एंड आई विल कीप ऑन ट्राइंग क्रिएटिंग यूजफुल कॉन्टेंट इन द फ्यूचर सो कीप ऑन लविंग कीप ऑन सपोर्टिंग एंड नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टड All right so let's start by creating the uh, trunk of the tree first now this is going to be a kind of similar setup as my previous video but we'll use some different nodes and different methods so let's start with the adding a curve so let's add a bezier select it and here i have uh, added this geometry node editor from here now create on new and we are going to create the trunk by adding a curve circle so shift a and search for circle curve circle and then add curve to mesh node now i'm going to change the resolution to about 12 and radius to be about 0.5 add the geometry node to our curve and the profile to our circle at the output so here it is so now if you go to edit mode and just delete all the vertices and just draw here is the trunk now let's create a material for this so this time i am not going to use any hand painted textures i'll just use all the default texturing options in the blender so that you can change the color afterwards so let's go to shader editor create new let's call this trunk 1 and i'm going to simply use the noise texture with color ramp so add a noise texture add a color ramp plug the factor to factor and color to base color now to see this on our part you again have to go to the geometry node editor and in here search for a node set material so here it is plug it in between of the output and from here you can search for your material Now let's go back to shader editor and let's change it so change the color go to material view now you can see so i'll give it a stylized color something like this and just add a mapping node so that i can control the mapping decrease the z value and now decrease the specular and increase the roughness okay so we have our trunk now and now i want to reduce the radius of the trunk at the top so here i have the radius option but it's a definite value so we cannot use this if i increase or decrease it will have a definite value so let's set it to about 0.6 and we will use another node that is the set radius node so set curve radius plug it between the geometry and curve to mesh and now i'll use the curve parameter node and if i plug the output of this factor to the radius you can see it is decreasing the radius from bottom to top but actually it is doing the inverse so i have to invert the value of this and for that i am going to use a color ramp so plug it in between and in color ramp if you come here to tools you can flip the color ramp and it will flip the value so now if i select this black color and bring it towards white 
it will increase the radius so I want it somewhere about here and I'll just push it towards bottom okay so now I want to add a little bit of detail over this trunk to look it more like uh, chipped off wood so again there are multiple ways of doing that but uh, what I have tried to keep things simple uh, that I have added these two pieces so these are simple uh, extruded faces and I have uh, given a solid color on these side faces as you can see so I have created two of these and put them in this uh, trunk PS instance and now we will use these parts to be scattered all over the trunk faces so let's do that I will just uh, drag and drop it inside our node editor and we will use distribute point on faces node and again instance on point so our curve output from here will go to distribute and points will go to points now from here from this collection node it will go to instance check these two and also the pick instance and now I'll just join these two so shift A join and plug it in the join so here it is now we need to tackle the rotation so again for that we'll use the Euler rotate Euler let me create some space here so the rotation of this distribute node goes into input and the output from Euler goes the input for instance change it to local and now try to change these values XYZ according to uh, your need so these generally works in uh, addition of 90 degrees so if I put X to 90 degree and Y to minus 90 degree it works for me you may have to change it so now you can see it's a little bit of detailed okay so now let's create some branches again I can go fully procedural for that but for simplicity I'll just create a simple shape so let's create a cylinder keep it at about 12 scale it down and just edit it to the L type of shape okay so here it is and now I'll give it the same trunk material and uh, now because it's gonna instance from the center of this so I'll just set the pivot point of this part here so I'll just press control period and put it here Now let's add the fluffy leaf on top of this. So again I'll use a simple mesh. So let's create a icosphere and just edit it according to the shape. So you can use this proportional editing and just quickly edit it. okay so here it is and I have created a similar material this puff leaf material for this as well again using the same noise texture and color ramp uh, and I have also plugged the color to the subsurface a little bit value and similarly for this trunk material 
I have used uh, a different color ramp as well and used this generated coordinate and added a simple normal map as well. Now we'll just join these two. So select this one, shift select this one and control J and I'll just put this over here. like this alright so here I have created two variations and put them in the instance these branches now let's uh, again drag it to our trunk node editor here it is now let's add a resample curve and let's set it to length give it a value of about 0.45 now we need instance node so again instance on points plug the curve to points and this collection to instance select these two and pick instance now just join it in the final output so here it is now again simply to tackle the rotation we'll add a Euler so this time align Euler to vector and again a curved tangent node so here I'll plug the tangent to rotation and rotation to input rotation set it to Z okay so now let's distribute these only in the middle so for that again search for curve parameter let me bring this here and now I'll use a color ramp plug the factor to factor and in my previous video I have used this output in scale however a better approach is to use it with this selection because this selection node is actually linking how many uh, instances are there so we'll plug this into selection and now for both these ends I do not want the branches so I'll just keep all the end colors to black and uh, add another color in the middle put it to white bring these here and again change this from linear to constant add another color and now you can simply just select where you want your instance to be okay so now let's add the rotation on these branches so again shift a search for rotate instance plug it afterwards now I want to increase this Z value only so I'll search for random rotation random value node and here set it to vector change the X and Y value to 0 plug it to rotation and now you can increase this z value all right so now if you see these branches are starting from the center of this uh, piece because they are instancing at the curve itself which is in the center so this area here it is getting wasted because it is getting inside of it now again we can pull it outwards by multiple methods but a simple fix to this is that you can change the pivot point so if I press control period and if I change the pivot point from here to somewhere out here you can see it comes out so I can set it to somewhere outwards like this similarly with this so now they are 
a little bit outwards okay so now let's add the uh, top leaves this puff so here i have again uh, created these four different uh, shapes these are again simple shapes and i have uh, put them in this uh, collection here top now again to add these i'll just simply copy this shift d and in here instead of branches i'm going to use the top s let's plug this and this into the final geometry now as per our old color ramp it is in the middle but we can simply uh, bring it up by just pulling this one to the end and this white towards the end as well just like this okay so this is the final version of the tree uh, i have added two more things uh, first i added the same node setup to add some more upper branches here so these same branches i have added here and then i modeled this uh, simple three plane leaf and then uh, on these fluffy leaves i simply added a uh, another geometry node and uh, distributed this leaf on top of these using the same distribute point on faces node so now a little bit of detail is added on to it all right so in similar way i have just uh, created a separate color material and created this tree as well and now they are fully procedural so you can just go to edit mode and draw whichever shape you like and it will follow all right so this is how i have created this simple scene and uh, this path thing i have created using uh, geometry nodes as well i'll explain it in the next video i am working on it with a more effective and useful uh, shape so as always this blender file is available to download i'll put the link in the description and i'll meet you in the next video thank you so much bye bye